Yo, what is up guys, Ark here, back with another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be going over another 12 wins grand challenge, which is right here. Now, this meta is pretty interesting, it's the most skillless meta I've ever seen in the history of Clash Royale, and not even exaggerating here, it is so annoying and... Uh, I'm trying not to swear, but I really want to swear here. Okay, anyways, in this meta, if you want to win, you just have to Brit spam. Like, get your Battle Ram, get your Ice Golem, get your Bandit, just drop them all at the bridge, and that's how you win. This is basically how this um, game works at, the, at this point. So, this is the deck right here that I used at the Grand Challenge. It is just Brit spam. What else is to say here? You just wait for your opponent to commit to a push and then just spam all your troops on the opposite lane and hope for the best. And usually it works. The poison spell is really good utility and has good synergy with Battle Ram. And now the P.E.K.K.A is an interesting choice here. So normally this type of deck runs uh, Minion Horde or Inferno Dragon. But I personally, I made a little tweak in this deck and I chose to run the P.E.K.K.A. Because what P.E.K.K.A does is that it shuts down the Brit spam so well. It'll shut down Battle Ram, it'll shut down Bandit, it'll shut down um, Night Witch, except for the Bats which you'll have to zap. So it, it's a really good counter to the current meta. Now let's open the chest right here and then we'll hop into some replays. I really hope we get a legendary in this one, that would be sick. Uh, so we get Goblin Hut, 22k gold is all, all is great. Ice Golem, okay. Mini Pekka, Minion, Zap, Musketeer, nothing special. Epics, okay, nice. More Epics, okay, this looks promising. We need 5 more Epics to get a Legendary. Okay, we need an Epic in this one. Oh, we're gonna get a bunch of rares. God damn it. Battle Ram. Uh, okay, so not the be best chest, but I guess I'll take it. So let's hop into the replays. Um, let's watch this one first against the Vietnamese 3 Musketeer deck, because I'm certain that this, a lot of you guys must be facing this in the Grand Challenges, because it is such a popular deck. And please excuse me for my BM, guys. I, I was really tilted during this challenge. I lost so many games before this, using this deck. And I, I was just frustrated. So here uh, he pumps up. So just as expected, I Brit spam, and it ends up working out. I poison his pump as well as the Night Witch, which kills the bats as well. The poison is just such a good spell in this meta. It works so well. It does so much damage, and the crowd control ability is just great. And now here I shut down the bandit with Ice Spirit and um, Ice Golem. The so Ice duo the ice um, whatever so he pumps up I have nothing to answer his pump so I just decide to push on the left lane and I end up taking the towers that's quite good isn't it we are in the fir we are firmly in the lead and now your main goal with these three musketeer decks is never to let them like get an advantage on you don't let them get damage on your tower get their tower as soon as you can because basically if you take their tower in single elixir time it's pretty much a free win whoa wait what's going on here hello game wait why are you flipping upside down okay, watch this boom boom hey isn't that cool that's funny so he drops the three musketeers and i i just make the most obvious play i poison them and uh, i i spirit to like keep the musketeers in the poison for a bit longer but that was a pretty stupid play now here he is planning to bridge spam himself, unfortunately I don't have my P.E.K.K.A. So I have to use my Night Witch and Zap to defend this. And that ends up working out pretty well, we're able to kill all of his troops and the bats should be, don't, aren't able to clean up the barbarians and his bats. So we do take a bit of damage, but at least, at least it's not lethal damage, right? Because if we did lose this tower, that would have been GG for us because we would have lost the game. So again, he splits the three musketeers. I poison them. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. And uh, here he fakes me out. Uh, that's super well played by him. He baits my P.E.K.K.A. and then he pushes on the other lane. With uh, that was super smart from him. Like, uh, well played to this guy. But unfortunately, it's too little, too late. I'm able to shut down his bandit and uh, barbarians with my 
bandit and night witch and then i just push with my battle ram to apply a bit more pressure and then i poison his three musketeers and tower a uh, good ice golem by him but yeah it's too little too late at this point 17 seconds left uh, he won't be able to get a battle ram through because my P.E.K.K.A will just be able to tank it. If I were him, I honestly would have just battle rammed and banded it on the right lane because um, maybe that would have been a higher chance to get to the tower since my P.E.K.K.A would just shut down his banded battle ram anyways. And we throw out the GG, so no BM in this game. Uh, that's good. Don't BM guys, stay in school, don't do drugs, don't BM. Uh, okay, <laughs> moving on. Now, um... This is a funny one. This is a really sketchy replay. Uh, whoa, why are we lagging? I, I don't think I deserve to win this one. I definitely should have lost. But I did win this one. So I'm going to show you guys just how. This is probably the closest. Um, well, it's not the closest actually. But it, it's fairly close to being one of the closest battles I've ever had. Uh, it's against Dark Soul Fire 2 from Latino's Clash who is playing a interesting golem deck something that is pretty unique because there's no um, tornado, no log and uh, it has archers for some reason now here I'm thinking he's playing graveyard because that's like the most common combo the current meta graveyard deck which has tombstone, ice golem has um, archers and mega minion in it as well but it doesn't have um, what you may call it Night Witch. So at this point, I poison his Night Witch, which was probably not the smartest play. But I know he has Golem, so I just aggressively go Brit Spam onto his left hand lane, and that works out super well because Golem decks don't have anything good to stop Brit Spam. So, kids, remember you need to have something to stop Brit Spam. In my case, I'm using Pekka. I think Pekka is a great answer to Brit Spam. It just doesn't it does work on the Battle Ram and um, Bandit. It can actually one shot the battle ram, so that's pretty good. So here he plays his golem. Now the issue is that he has a pump on me and that will end up costing me a lot in this game. Because once he gets like a couple of night witches going, a lot of with a few bats, uh, there's nothing I can do here. Uh, I had a good ice spirit by me catches all his bats and night witch. But his baby dragon will do some good work. And I, I should be able to stop this push, but I don't think I'll be able to stop another one like this. He, he'll just overwhelm me. So here I'll have to bandit his archers, but I won't. my bandit will take a bit of time to deploy and his archers will get a bunch of damage. And I have nothing to answer his baby dragon. So he drops another aggressive golem and he has a, quite a significant elixir lead on me. So I... I, I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh yeah, I was thinking that I pretty much have to give up this tower at this point. So I just poison to make sure I can take his as well. And he goes aggressive for the 3 crown. It's just something I probably would have done as well. Uh, for some reason, I don't know. A lot of people say that Pekka is a counter to Golem. But I, I, I really don't think it is. Because uh, usually Golem, if they can get a couple of pumps up, they just overwhelm the Pekka with the support troop. Especially the Night Witch because the Pekka just gets shed on by the bats uh, excuse my language uh, so at this point uh, things are looking sad for me my tower is at 380 health all he needs is two lightnings which is significant here he needs two lightnings so I go aggressive with my P.E.K.K.A and uh, Night Witch because that is the best I can do at this point P.E.K.K.A is not the best offensive troop but in this case it will have to do and look at this with 34 health left on the tower, we are able to clutch it with the P.E.K.K.A and we will give him a couple of laugh faces because <laughs> that was pretty pretty hilarious in my opinion. The fact that the, this poor lad lost with 34 health left on my king tower. That, that, that's a tilter. That's a tilter if I've ever seen one. Now yeah, here's a loss to a golem deck. Th there was nothing I can do. I have no answer for the inferno dragon and he, he just overwhelmed me with his double dragon pushes. There was nothing I could do about it. Um, hmm. What replay should we watch next? Do you guys want to see this golem deck? This uh, Vietnamese three musketeer deck? This cancerous golem three musketeer deck, which we three crowned and uh, put him in his place back to Frozen Peak.
Wait, why is this guy so high up? Why does this guy have 127,000 cards? What? Kid, you belong in Frozen Peak with that garbage ass deck. Get out of here. Uh, so for the last replay, let's watch this one against the new meta graveyard deck, which you guys must have seen a lot in the CCGS tournaments. Um, yeah. And uh, just something I wanted to share with you guys for the ones who are here. Uh, thank you. Just honestly, from the bottom of my, of my heart, thank you so much for, for sticking with me. Uh, I really enjoy videos and I really do appreciate all your support. Just coming to the video, watching, commenting, liking. I really appreciate it. I really do. And I'm really thankful for you guys coming to my channel of all the other big channels there are. Uh, much love to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so moving on to the replay, my opponent was able to distract my battle ram with his log and um, tombstone. But my barbs do still manage to get to the tower since the ice golem was able to clean up the skeletons. Now here, this my opponent makes a good play. He takes advantage of that um, mega minion and graveyard and then poisons my knight witch as well. And gets like what? Two... two 1500 damage approximately a little more than that so what do we do we brit spam because that's what this garbage ass meta is you just brit spam for the win and that's what we do right here we poison as well but my opponent does do a very good job of stopping us unfortunately he isn't able to stop my night witch which is able to take his tower nice and easy now there's something i have to tell you guys in some circumstances the pekka will just be a de dead card in your hand uh, and you'll just have to accept that. Like, if your opponent doesn't have a tank, or if your opponent has Lava Hound as the main tank, uh, a lot of times you just won't be able to drop your Pekka. And that you have to recognize that, and you have to basically just acknowledge that fact. And uh, just play with one dead card in your hand. Because if you overcommit with your Pekka, it'll end up costing you really badly. And you'll definitely lose the game. Because uh, now here to defend, I just put my poison. Uh, the poison was a bit unnecessary because I was expecting him to poison as well So good well played by my opponent to hold on to his poison now here I don't know what he was thinking. I he didn't have graveyard in his hand I don't know. I have no idea why he pushed like that But I just keep applying pressure because I, I don't want him to be able to place another big graveyard push So I have to continue applying pressure pressure now my opponent was leaking for a while But he did recover and now there are a bunch of archers on me so I have to deal with this fast. So I, I just placed my P.E.K.K.A here because I needed the tankiness. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have just played my Night Witch Ice Golem. But P.E.K.K.A works too and it ended up being alright. My opponent tries desperately to cycle back to another poison. But you don't have enough time, friend. And that's GGWP. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's it for the video. This is the deck again if you guys want to want to want to check it out really solid deck definitely recommend it i actually tried this deck for the first time in this challenge and got 12 wins no problem at all so i'm sure you guys can too and yeah thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe comment down below if you enjoyed dislike if you didn't enjoy and let me know why and i'll see you guys in the next video peace